Hello, my name is Robert Cantor. I'm an associate professor of surgical oncology at the UC Davis School of Medicine. It's my pleasure today to speak to you about our big ideas vision for a multi-species immunotherapy here at UC Davis. As many of you know and have been touched personally, uh, either through friends or family and other loved ones, Cancer remains a significant uh, and devastating disease in our country and around the world. Yet, there is cause for optimism because a revolution is underway in how we treat cancer patients. And that revolution really represents immunotherapy. And it is safe to say that immunotherapy is the future of cancer therapy. As you can see in this slide, this is a famous patient from the University of Pennsylvania named Emily. She had a very devastating and advanced form of cancer and had really exhausted all standard conventional treatment options. She had suffered, she and her family had suffered significantly from treatment and the prognosis was grim. However, she was a candidate for a novel immunotherapy treatment which she received and has done dramatically well as you can see on the right side where she is now three years completely cancer free off of all treatment and a healthy beautiful vibrant girl. We hope to be able to expand this treatment and these types of treatments to other patients. And that is why the promise of immunotherapy is so exciting and really represents a breakthrough in the treatment of cancer patients because this concept of long-term cure is now possible. As you can see from this graph on the left-hand side of the, of the screen, most traditional cancer therapies have offered very limited or incremental benefits. They tend to pr prolong patients' life by weeks to months, but unfortunately for standard chemotherapy and targeted therapy treatments, the benefits wear off and patients unfortunately ultimately still succumb to treatment. However, with immunotherapy, there is this concept of the tail of the curve in which patients uh, remain cancer-free with no evidence of return of the cancer for years. And in that situation, there is this concept that they are cured with no chance of the cancer coming back. This is why immunotherapy is so exciting uh, and why Science Magazine, which is the uh, prestigious publication of the Association for the Advancement of Science named immunotherapy as its scientific advance of the year several years ago. However, it's important to remember that barriers still remain and we need to find ways to extend the exciting benefits of immunotherapy to more patients. Part of the reason that barriers remain is we still have a somewhat simplistic concept of how immunotherapy works. We see it as akin to driving a car where we have to find a way to learn how to apply more gas to the pedal and learn how to take away the brakes which restrain the immune system. Unfortunately, immunotherapy is not that simple. Immunotherapy is more like driving a space shuttle. And that is because the immune system is exceedingly complex because it has evolved to play a very dangerous game. It needs to be able to recognize foreign attacking cells, bacteria, cancer cells, but also be able to uh, not attack the self uh, uh, to prevent damage to normal organs and tissues which can lead to uh, autoimmunity. And the ability to uh, regulate and modulate uh, these effects is highly complex and why it has proven so difficult to manage and uh, therapeutically manipulate the immune system. And actually, uh, the case of Emily, as I alluded to earlier, is a perfect example of how the immune system can be so dangerous. Emily was treated with some of her own uh, immune cells which were grown up in the lab and reinfused to attack her own cancer cells. And when her cells were infused, they uh, were so activated, uh, uh, they began to uh, release chemicals uh, which caused significant side effects for her, and she almost died uh, the night she received one of her infusions. Uh, there were such 
changes in her uh, and fluctuations in her blood pressure and heart rate and and and, and, uh, and fluid status that she almost died. Uh, and so there is a significant risk uh, with these uh, treatments that needs to be carefully controlled and, and carefully regulated. This is why we think this big idea's uh, vision is so important. Our vision is to link unique resources of UC Davis to develop a multi-species uh, immunology center to allow us to learn uh, uh, and push the science uh, of immunotherapy to bring new treatments to the clinic more quickly, but also to be able to take them back to the lab and to the bench to evaluate how they are working, what's the risk of toxicity, and are they uh, going to provide the therapeutic benefits that we hope they will. Uh, and to do this, we envision basic science using mouse models, which is the uh, cornerstone of traditional basic science, but then capitalizing on our world-class uh, veterinary uh, school where we treat uh, a dog and numerous other species uh, who are afflicted with cancer, and cancer in dogs in particular is highly similar to cancers which afflict humans. We also have a non-human uh, primate center which allows us to really look at immune mechanisms and immunology, uh, particularly in the treatments that we are implementing at a level that is very similar to what is happening in people and other species such as dogs. And we are one of the few uh, campuses and universities in the country which is able to integrate a world-class veterinary school, a non-human primate center, and a comprehensive cancer center. So we think that this will really embody and align us with the goals of the Cancer Moonshot program, which is to more rapidly translate novel therapies uh, from the bench to the bedside to provide benefit to patient and provide benefit to our uh, companion animals such as dogs. So what is our vision? Our vision is a comprehensive immunotherapy center, as I mentioned. We see this as an integrated hub for the development, validation, and immune monitoring across numerous species, including humans, dogs, non-human primates, cats, and mice. We think this will be a powerful tool in the fight against cancer to allow us to more rapidly evaluate and implement new treatments, to be able to determine more quickly uh, if the uh, basic mechanisms and basic experiments we see in mice uh, really will translate to benefits for patients. Uh, and one of the ways we can do this is through clinical trials in dogs, which is a, a, a tremendous resource for evaluating new therapies, especially in immunotherapy, where you need patients and animals that have an attacked immune system, have, uh, are afflicted with cancer in the same way that humans are, to really recapitulate the same phenomenon that we see in patients. This is one example of how we think our idea can translate to greater benefits. We are working on using natural killer cells to target cancer stem cells. This is a novel immunotherapy approach, and we actually have a clinical trial at our vet school in dogs who have a diagnosis of osteosarcoma. We think that by doing this in this way, we'll speed translation of this treatment, uh, but at the same time, ensure that we are optimizing the uh, safety and efficacy before we move this uh, therapy to patients. So what do we need and what is our vision? Our vision is a seven-year master plan that will uh, integrate infrastructure, new construction, renovation and improvement, but also a critical mass of faculty and intellectual brain power to help integrate this model into a productive and uh, visionary uh, group. Uh, what can we deliver? We will deliver a state-of-the-art immune monitoring core. We will enter in, uh, deliver cutting-edge technology, and critically, we will uh, deliver in a unique way uh, where few other places can do is greater cross-disciplinary uh, collaboration uh, to translate these studies across 
mice, dogs, primates, and humans to speed translation of immunotherapy, uh, as I mentioned. Other places across the country have invested heavily in immunotherapy, uh, uh, as is widely known. Uh, but what is unique about UC Davis is, is that we can uh, offer this cross-species evaluation to help us uh, also uh, contribute substantially and be a leader nationally and internationally in immunotherapy research and clinical trials. And we think this will help us with our ongoing pipeline of immunotherapy clinical trials, which will provide benefits to patients, to animals, uh, and to society. So we think this represents a great opportunity for UC Davis, for our community, for our patients. Immunotherapy is clearly the future of cancer therapy. We need to be a part of it to help uh, grow it and extend it to more patients, and we don't want to be left behind. We believe that UC Davis can truly be a unique leader uh, through cross-species studies uh, to help more rapidly translate novel immunotherapy approaches to patients and it's important that we have leadership vision and commitment to achieve this goal. We currently are doing some of these exact studies using this paradigm, but we think we need a bigger and a greater critical mass to allow us to truly achieve this uh, visionary goal. Thank you very much.